All right, so having a look at these questions over here, find the value of 7 squared. Now, the first thing we have to remember is that when we got 7 squared, what does that mean? It means that we have 7 multiplied by itself. Whenever you have 7 to the power of 2, it's 7 times 7. When you have 7 to the power of 3, it's 7 times 7 times 7. So this is going to be 7 squared is the same as 7 times 7. And 7 cubed is the same as 7 times 7 times 7, etc. So we can see this is the 1. It's going to be 49. So 7 squared is going to be 49. 7 times 7, which equals to 49. What is a product? Product means multiply. Product means multiply. What is the product of 8 and 9? So that's going to be 8 multiplied by 9. All right, 8 times 9, which is 72. What is the cube root of 27? We put a 3 at the top, and we put 27 into a bracket. Cube root is the opposite of cubing. Now remember, 1 cubed is 1. 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. 4 cubed is 4 times 4 times 4, which is going to be 64. So this one here is going to be when you go backwards. So when you cube root 27, the answer is 3, because 3 to the power of 3 is 27. Okay? All right. 15% of 120 is if you take 15 over 100 and multiply it by 120 over 1. And so we cancel the zeros there. We can also see that 10 divided by 5 is 2 and 15 divided by 5 is 3. And then 2 goes into 12 6 times. So we left with 6 times 3, which is 18. Let's do that again. All right. So 15% of 120 means 15 over 100. Off means times. 120 can be written as a fraction, and then the zeros cancel, and 10 divided by, by 2 is 5, all right? Actually, 10 divided by 5 is 2, and 15 divided by 5 is 3. Then 2 divides into 12, 6 times, and 6 times 3, or 3 times 6 is 18. All right, difference. What does difference mean? Different means difference means minus. What is the difference between 75 and 48? 75 minus 48. 5 minus 8, you can't. You borrow, it becomes 6. 15 minus 8 is 7. And 6 minus 4 is 2. And the final answer here is 27. Okay.